All right, new video, guys. Next one, after the last one. This one, stainless steel. This I made holy now. This is gonna be here. As you can see, I wanted to have it done completely inside here, so I have to cut, cut away a piece here on here now to get it completely in. Same here. I have to go a little bit more to the inside, so here I just have to cut out the piece because I only missing like a few millimeters. Now, after I got it in place, I made holes, as you can see here. After removing this now, I made bigger holes, eight millimeters, because the plugs are eight and the bolts are six. So this hole is six millimeter, but they will need eight. Now is this ready? Uh, freeze or uh, tails glue is on. This is a proper tail glue. It's good for cold and everything. So this should work out. Laser is up, 35, perfect, 35, perfect, 35, perfect, 35, all the way. There we can go a little bit down. Then is it done? Now it's gonna dry. And when it's dry, then I'm gonna put in the bolts. Because I don't want to put in the bolts now and tie it down because then I squeeze the glue, you know? But look what I picked up yesterday evening. All the plates and stuff for the support, like this one. Around the door, support around the door. Huh? That's gonna be nice. I also made a hole into the wall there and put electricity into the wall so it's not visible. We're gonna cover up this with concrete later on. Same up there. But now then, I'm gonna finish up those. Those are gonna be welded together because it's three meters and four and you don't have plates in that size. So it's everywhere, two pieces. We're gonna be welded together. I am now quickly over at Yakon. I got this pseudoform plate. It's gonna be on my door for insulation where the wood are, you know? Made this ready for uh, concrete or murpus. Gonna make this corner nice. I need to do that before I put on the cover on the side and stuff. So I thought to just do it straight away. So I'm done with it. I actually was not sure if I'm going to show you guys this. Looks like I used a little bit too much foam there yesterday. Pretty happy with this uh, edge here, actually. Turned out great. That's not always. It's a box inside of there. It's a cover, actually. Let's see if we can take it out without making too much damage. It looks good here now, if you can. There we go. Perfect. Top piece is done with this 30 millimeter zero form from Jacqueline. Now I'm gonna do the same in the bottom. And these plates, this is Ebon from my buddy Jon. It's for decorating and making um, uh, logo signs for companies and stuff. So he gonna order this when he orders something else. And we're gonna put this on top of the zero form to get the same finish as this one. Done. Then I started with this one. This is not gonna be welded together. This is the this is the bottom piece. We're gonna be underneath the gate to keep it don't go in and out. And we're also gonna have gaskets like this each side there. Maybe also three of them on this one. And since this is going to be mounted the other way around, it's going to be on top of this one, sliding each side. And the gasket is going to touch this one. That's going to be good. Perfect. Since this gasket is going to be glue on here, I'm going to clean this first properly, sand it properly, use proper primer, what I use on the cars, and then proper paint I use on the cars. So I'm sure that this this paint and stuff will not lo get loose later on. And then I know this, uh, this glue on this one have a really good foundation to stick there forever. And the reason why I say it, because some of the industry paint we have been using when you put this kind of stuff on it, it gets loose after some, some, for a while. That's, um, that's not good. I'm gonna paint and make this one ready tonight because now when it's light outside, I want to 
cut this one and now draw it up the top corner there so now i'm going to cut it and then we're going to put it on top of this one this one and see if it's fitting my measurement wasn't the best it's a little bit too tight on the outside so i'm going to take away a little bit more so on. now it's fitting then i'm going to take it down i'm going to weld those pieces together i'm not sure but i'm going to weld this only like points like there i'm not going to do complete over because then is it really easy that because of all the heat we're going to be it's going to be bended and i get problems with that so i think it's better to leave it like this this plate now is going to be bolted in two bolts and i'm taking the measure out straight out from this one so it's going to be there the same height of that one and that one next one next two pieces completely straight I spend them up with the best twingy. Those are the best twingy you can get. And they are from my partner, Avli Hansen. They are super good. Expensive, but super good. When I spend it up here now, I keep uh, like a millimeter gap between two plates. Because if I put them completely together and I weld, the metal get a little bit bigger of the heat and stuff, and then it can uh, schlossa, so it's not straight. So that's why keeping a gap, because then the plate have a little bit to move on, you know? This is the second one. Also ready, bolt is cleaned, now we put primer. Hempel, Lotte. Hempel paint. They are soccer. I actually normally don't need to put primer on the back side here because it's the back side. But the reason why I do it is in case of uh, condense and it comes water on behind of us, those, you know. Humidity, <clears throat> it's gonna run down rust water underneath and stuff. That I don't want to have. So now it's not going to rest. I sanded that one now. So I don't have to do it tomorrow when it's up. Because now I'm going to put it up. As you can see, I put insulation now. Where it was some holes. It's bolted on. And it's actually perfect. What I'm gonna do now is fill behind here in the crack there with foam. Yeah, that I have to do. I just have to think about it. Maybe I make some on the top there. I can't do it now. That's a shit actually. Should have been done before. Yeah, I foamed now where it was gap in between so I could push a lot of foam in. But as you see on the top there, I can't. So I decided now that tomorrow when this uh, foam is dry, I'm gonna make a hole here and there and put in a hose and fill it from this side with foam. So I get good insulation there. And I weld those holes. I cover those, uh, those holes later with welding. That's the plan. Now we're gonna check the measurement. Since the both side is not the same, this one is 33.5 from the door and out. On this side, it's a little bit different inside here, you know? So now we're gonna see what this one is from the door and out. It's actually, there is the center. Huh. It's on the millimeter. All right. The paint is always nice. I now mix it epoxy primer. I primer inside this one. I told you what I should do. Also this one on the outside where the gasket, gasket gonna be there. And I mix it too much, so I also putting epoxy on those here. That's actually no need for this super primer on inside here, but I mix too much, so I use it. So new day. Just thought we can walk over here and look a little bit at it from from distance. And it don't look too shabby, eh? I think it's gonna... Uh, when everything is done, when the wall is covered up with... With this, like this wall. Oh, I have to turn off the lights up here. It's gonna be nice. I think it's gonna be really nice. And please put, put a comment below if you think it's nice, or also if you think it's shit, and if you see I do something wrong, just tell me straight away. I'm not gonna read it anyway. <laughs> no, I'm joking, but... 
I'm not a professional, so I've, I for sure do a lot of mistakes. Morten has arrived. Hello. Brother, is it? This is also going to work as glue. So here we have Stian's bakery. Bakery? I'll call this one first. Ik brought them, Morten. It went well. Top pieces on. I also made those wood pieces is glued on on top there because there we're gonna have the a white beslag we're gonna cover up up to the up the roof. Me and my brother did a lot of other stuff yesterday. We have to mount this one. We have nothing to do with the door, but that's coming in different videos. Now I drilled holes here, like I told you earlier I could do. I'm gonna try to feel foam inside of them. Those. This one it was foaming. That's the lower piece, and I knew that because the lower piece I could reach from the other side. Top piece was the problem, so we're gonna try now. It's moving down there, as you can see. It's coming. Also on that hole, perfect. Yeah, I think maybe I took a little bit too much now, <laughs> but it's working out. Where I welded those plates together, just put a little bit sparkle there now. Also where I welded there, and there, and this side. Just to smooth it out a little bit. This is the primer, one component spray I get from Bilak Specialisten. I'm just using that where we've been sanding through to the bar metal now. Because we can't we can't put the paint straight onto this bar metal. That's uh, that's no go. But on this aluminium frame, we're also gonna paint. We use Shamalon aluminium primer. That's important. While this is drying now, the primer, I'm gonna put uh, foam in between the glasses here. Now then, I'm gonna start with the tool component, paint for cars. I'm gonna paint up there, across there, on the back side there, because there we're gonna have the gaskets glued on. So there I use the paint, I know for sure it will not get loose from the glue and gasket later on. Time to mix this paint. We're gonna use yeah. Something yeah. This is gonna be three to one with harder. That's really important. It's really exactly so circa on. And we're gonna have a little bit of this. This is uh, this is all because it's yellow, but it's drying faster. <coughs> and we're gonna have this. This is uh, accelerator turbo we call it and squat. Something yeah. This is now a little bit too thick, thick, so we're gonna have a squat of ketchup. Then we're gonna rör it around, and it's ready. Perfect thickness and stuff, but ah, every bit. Perfect mixer. I used ax absolutely everything, and then I was done. I also painted this profile now inside, the one gonna be underneath the door. Then is the time to mix some hempel. It's the same. I used on that door, on this door, and I'm gonna use here now. It's the same with all code as the one I used up there where the gasket's gonna be. Working on the gate. Actually, I'm not working on the gate today because I have a worker inside who is welding the side beschlag and stuff you see there now. Because I actually didn't want to do it myself, so I thought this person could do it. Hey, it's very good. <laughs> Brother? The female stig is now sounding the welders. And she actually is doing a really good job. Gasket is not done. So now we're going to prepare outside here to mount it. Now we're going to cut here. First I made those holes because inside here I'm going to put the weld later on. On those spots. 
This profile now is uh, welded on with few points. So now I'm gonna glue on this one on the top here and slide the door over it. And then I'm gonna weld that one with small points because it's really important that this one is straight and that one and on the right place in and out. So I'm gonna weld this one out together, everything a little bit when everything is closed on a straight line. I'm gonna try. If not, when I open and close, it's gonna not go smooth, you know? Glue is on. And I'm ready to nest it on after I lay it down there now. Perfect. There is a little bit too tight, or yeah, then we have to do like this. Perfect. Yesterday, my Berion brought me those plates. It's going to be here on the gate, like the one there. So now we're going to see big progress, actually, when they are up. As you see here, the name is Ibon. And they are, those are like brushed stainless steel, but it's aluminum. On the other side, it's white. And as you can see, the black ones, they're for outside. Ibon plates are glued on. Now it really starts to look like something. And... Glued on the gaskets here. Also on the inside there is a gasket now. I'm only going to put on this six millimeter plate up here. And also on the top, like in the bottom to build a little bit more out. Then I'm going to put on those. I actually have to paint those black. This is only primer is on there now. And then we're going to put the black Ebons plate outside together with those. I just quickly put up this one and the outside piece is also on. This is something you make to hide the crack in the window there. What Isak attempted to help me fix, you know, in the last movie. I'm gonna do this on this gate and this was coming there later on. And there it's gonna stay steam pulse racing and P3 gate like p is for put put gate three and two and one it's gonna be same on everyone i'm not sure if it's gonna look fantastic but we will see in the end it's gonna be better than the crack in the glass for sure this uh end black list covering up i don't know the name now it's on and behind that one is the gasket. So this is going against the gasket now. You can actually see it inside here. If I do it like this, it's a little bit from the gasket all the way down. After walking around, looking a little bit at this, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure at all if it's gonna be good. I have to make the, the name and the number and stuff later on and put it on and see them. Cause right now I think it looks shit actually. But hey, some of you guys probably recognize this cage there. That's um, that's a different project. It's coming out another video about that another day. Maybe it's still out. I don't know. 
but it's a different video. They are on all of those. Now it really starts to look like something. Next thing now is to make those aluminium covers. It's going to be up and down here and across there. And yeah, that's actually also a lot of work. But that's the only thing left now, actually. Look here now. Perfect fitment. Absolutely perfect. <clears throat> that means now then that this door is 100% closed with the gasket all around. It's ready for the winter. This is how it is now. The winter has arrived and it's minus 12 it was this morning. So to make those uh, this uh, aluminium beschlag, lister, and paint those and glue those on, it's gonna be in the spring <laughs> because now it's too cold. <laughs> <coughs> so we're gonna end this video here. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. <coughs> oh, sorry. <coughs> it's cold. I just want to show you quickly this before we turn off. I think I have some movie from when I made it. So it comes later on. Also, this I've been working a lot with. The downtime heater for the paint box and the ventilation upstairs. So a lot of cool, exciting things is coming in the future. So thanks again. Hope you like it. Please subscribe if you didn't. And yeah, flat out.